Hi, this is Sunil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see the two more character related functions available in C. One is called is punct, you know, which is used to check whether whether a character is a punctuation character or not, and another one is called is space. So, this is used to check whether you know a character is a space or not. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see what's the syntax of these two functions. You know uh, what are the punctuation characters you know what are the characters for space and also you know how we can use these two functions in our program okay okay now this is punct function is gonna return a non-zero if the character passed here is a punctuation character otherwise a value of zero will be returned so the punctuation defined by this function includes all the printing characters that are neither alphanumeric or a space so I have written some of the punctuation characters here you can see okay next the is space function so this is space function is gonna return non-zero if that character passed here is a white space character including the space horizontal tab vertical tab form feed carriage return or new line character otherwise it's gonna return a value of zero okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use these two functions in our program okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how we can use these two functions in our program okay first uh, for the demonstration purpose what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable of type character and I'm gonna call it as ch and next I'm gonna use the is punct function to check whether the character is a punctuation character or not and I'm gonna use that inside the if statement if is punct p u n c t and as a parameter we need to pass a ch then if the character is a punctuation character then uh, the is punct function is gonna return a non-zero value and that's gonna mean that success here and that's why the if block will be executed and we're gonna say percentage c is a punctuation character let me add a new line here and we're gonna refer the, c, the variable ch so else you know if this is punct function is gonna return a value of zero then it's gonna mean that the character is not a punctuation character and we're gonna say that here and is not a punctuation character okay next you know we're gonna see how to use the is space function so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here and here we're gonna change this one to is space yes p a c e then it's gonna say is a white space character else is not a white space character okay now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna assign this um, this star here so this star is a punctuation character that's why this is punct function is gonna return a non-zero value and you know this if block will be executed and you know this is space function is gonna return a value of zero that's why the else block will be executed I'm gonna execute compile and run so you can see here uh, star is a punctuation character and star is not a white space character so if I change this one to any other punctuation character we'll get the same result for example equal to save this compile and run so equal to is a punctuation character equal to is not a white space character so if I change this one to let's say a you know a is not a punctuation character and also a is not a white space character so here I'm gonna store a space in this way variable ch that's why you know this is punct function is gonna return a value of zero because that's not a punctuation character and this is space function is gonna return a non-zero value because you know space is a white space character and that's why you know this if block will be executed compile and run so you can see here space you can see here it's not a punctuation character and space is a white space character 
okay this is it guys this is about the is punct and is space functions in C thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial